Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to talk about one main topic. People keep asking me, Luis, what is going on with Macari? Is Macari dead? Is Macari slow sales right now? To be honest with you, I get asked this on a daily basis. So I'm going to make this video to show you guys how I do this, how I do my process to Macari and what I do to keep my listings going and to keep getting those sales on Macari. So if this is something that interests you or this is something that you want to check out, make sure you hang out with me, pull up a chair, sit on your couch, get your beverage, have a cold beer, get some coffee, whatever you want to drink. Let's sit back, relax, and let's talk about this so-called Macari slowdown. <laughs> let's get right into it. All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you guys for joining me. But like I said early, uh, a few seconds ago, this has been an ongoing thing where people say, well, this reseller is saying that this platform is dead. That reseller is saying that that platform is no good. You need to stop listening to everybody. Everybody's going to have their own opinion. People are going to say what they want to say. They're going to say, don't sell on this platform, sell on this one, or don't sell on that platform, sell on that one. The way I see it, the more you put yourself out there, the more you put your items out there, the better possibility it is for you to make a sale. That's right, a sale. A lot of people, like I said, have their opinions, and of course, everybody does things differently. I do my things my way. Another reseller might do their things their way. So I'm going to show you guys a few things that have sold for me here on Macari. People are always saying, well, how are you selling on Macari still if the sales are slow? Yeah, they could be slow, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing. And here comes an important thought that I'm going to share with you guys. You get what you put in. If you're listing, even if you put one listing a day, that's something. In five days, that's five listings. In seven days, that's seven listings. Simple math, right? So you're going to get whatever you put into these platforms. Do your research. Make sure you take great pictures. Try to put all the, the best description you can on your item you're selling. Try to get some clear pictures. If there's any defects with the item, make sure you show that in the pictures. Make sure you show that in the description as well. That has a lot to do with people saying, all right, I like this item. Doesn't have that many flaws. He's saying it's a good condition. All right, let's hit the buy button. And boom, there goes your, and there you have it. So like I said, it's it's not brain surgery. You're going to get whatever you put into it. That's all I'm going to say. Also, be very, be selective with what you're, what you're sourcing to resell. Because what I buy and sell might not sell for you or for what you're selling. So make sure you get items that you know are gonna sell, you know the details of it. If you're a gamer, video games is uh, your niche, that's a no-brainer. If you like selling, oh, I have this uh, rookie card, boom, sports cards, there's your niche. Stick to what you know. It's always good to know, to sell what you know, and it's also good to learn other items to sell and become knowledgeable and add to your arsenal. So like that, you don't get all this sales are not going. I mean, I see a bunch of other channels saying, oh, reselling is dead. Mercari is dead. This platform is dead. I'm like, come on, man. Instead of sitting here and saying that this is dead, this is dead, try to regroup and say, if something's not working for you, okay, you know what? Let's take these listings down. Let me revise these listings. Maybe I'm not putting enough on the description. Maybe I'm not putting a clear image of the items. Maybe I'm not using keywords. Keywords, a lot of people think don't do don't don't help a listing, but they sure do because that sends that keyword to that certain person that types in the keyword. If you're selling a poster, say it's a Metallica poster. Okay, you're gonna put Metallica keyword and then you're gonna put the keyword poster. So if someone tag uh Puts in the search bar, uh, search bar, Metallica poster, 
guess what? That listing you just added has Metallica on the keyword and posters. So it's going to direct to one of many listings, which is going to be yours as well. So definitely always practice the keywords as well. Don't be up here saying, well, I'm not selling. I haven't sold nothing on Macari for months. You know, there is no excuse. That's just my opinion. I'm working a full-time job and I'm still making sales on Macari. I've been selling on Poshmark. I've been selling on other platforms. Macari, like I said, I've been getting those sales. So like I said, I'm not telling you to sit here and go eight hours listing 150 listings per day. If you have the time to do it and then that's the way you want to do it, then go for it, you know? As long as you're listing stuff and you're getting stuff sold, that's what matters. Get up, get your, you know, recharge your batteries, you know, get to it. Just go and just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Because the more you think about it and say, well, I already did one listing today. I'll do some more tomorrow. Then tomorrow comes. Well, well, I'm going to go do this today. So eh, I'll do it tomorrow and see. Those two days that you did not list now are two days of two items that you could have list and possibly even sold. You just got to train yourself and kind of motivate yourself to get up. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to get up. I'm going to have breakfast. Just like you do when, when you work a regular job. You wake up, you eat breakfast, you brush your teeth, you get ready for work, you drive to work, you clock into work, and then you do your shift. You finish your shift. Okay, I'm going to clock out. My shift's over. Boom, you drive home, you get home, you empty out your lunch pail, you change clothes, you have dinner, you take a shower, and then you get to you get to go to bed and do it all over again the next day. Well, treat your reselling like a business. Don't treat it like a hobby. Don't treat it as a, well, I could do it tomorrow. I could do it tomorrow because you're going to get whatever you put into it. So always stay on top of it and always try to be consistent with your reselling and like i said you will see the difference i'm not gonna sit here and say yeah list for one week or join my course or get this course for me and you're gonna make ten thousand dollars the first month because i'm not one i'm not one to sell courses and i'm not one to sell the game i've always said that the game is to be told not to be sold that's just my opinion that's just the way how i see it like i said there's a lot of courses out there that have different ways to do drop shipping or wholesale pallets and all that stuff. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm sharing here with you is 100% just what I go through on a daily basis and the information I'm sharing with you guys. So it's plain and simple. You know, I, I can't put it any simpler for you guys. Just get your listings done. Be consistent with it and you will see sales start coming. I'm not going to say Boom, you're going to get swamped with 10 sales in one hit because, come on, we're keeping it real right now. You could do one or two sales, three sales, I mean, maybe, maybe even four sales. That's great. Even if you get one sale a day in seven days, that's seven sales. That's seven sales you did not have before. So definitely stay consistent with what you're doing. Like I said, I just keep getting these messages. People asking me, yeah, how are you selling? Are you sure you're selling? My stuff's pri it's not private, it's open. You could go to my link tree. I'll post the link down below on this video. Go check out my store. Check out my Macari. Check out what I have listed. Check out what I've sold. Gives you an idea of what I've been selling. And also show you guys that I'm putting in the work. I'm trying to list every day. Like I said, if I can't list two or three or even five a day, at least as I list one or two a day, that's already, for me, it's good. Just find the time get it together and you'll see like i said sales will come in little by little and like i said a lot of people say well well i don't got no, this is the summer slowdown right now i'm just gonna save my inventory for q4 okay that's fine save it for q4 but don't just say you're gonna save it for q4 get it listed get it out there start organizing get it get it together you know just get it together and like I said, you will get the sales and you will start seeing that traffic coming to your to your store. And that's just how it is. The algorithm picks up. Macari, like I said, I've been with Macari since 2015. It's 2023 now. So that should show you how many years I've been with Macari and I'm still going. So definitely don't get discouraged. I know people think, well, you know, 
this person said this, this person said that, but I'm not seeing no results. All results are not going to be the same. Everybody sells different items. Everybody puts different amount of work in their listings, uh, their sourcing. I always tell people the sourcing is the easy part. Man, that's the part we all love. That's the part I love. I love to go find things. It's it's exciting. But once the sourcing is done, you got to come back home, do your research, take pictures, list your items, get the descriptions, and post them. So, like I said, try to make the best of it. Like I said, if you have a death pile just sitting there and you're looking at it daily, and instead of saying, well, I'll take care of that death pile tomorrow, why don't you just go ahead, give yourself 15 minutes Get a few items, get two items of that, even one item. Get the information, do a draft on your listing, take the picture, and boom, you're set. That's one less thing you got to stare at on that death pile, and it's one thing that now you listed, hopefully it's going to sell. So definitely always keep consistent with it. But anyhow, I'm going to show you guys some pictures of some of the stuff I've sold. I've sold a couple of hats. I'm going to go ahead and post them here as I'm talking. Like I said, uh, some of this stuff I've bought on online auctions. I've gotten uh, private picks and uh, also out when I've been out and about. So like I said, don't get discouraged, guys. Like I said, every sale does not have to be a home run. They're nice when we get the home runs, but sometimes you just got to take them as they come. Sometimes there'll be $20 sales. Sometimes there'll be 15 Hey, sometimes you'll get $10 sales, even a couple dollars. Hey, a, a sale's a sale. It all adds up. So definitely do not focus on, okay, I need to hit a home run every time. No, you try to find the stuff that you can hit a home run with. You list it and you keep moving. Don't just sit on that item and think, okay, I'm going to wait till this thing sells so I can hit another home run. No, list all the stuff. List it, get it out. Like I said, anything you sell, that's one less thing you got to worry about. That's one less thing you got to keep in storage, you know, in your house, in your room or your storage locker, wherever you store your inventory. Just get it out. You know, people always ask me and say, wow, you know, why are you so optimistic with your reselling? Why are you always so encouraging and you never talk negative? I'm like, because I believe in putting good karma out there. The good karma goes and comes back and goes round and round. Like I said, I have no issue with no resellers. I have no issue with nobody. Everybody does their things differently. I'm just sharing how I do things, hopefully to encourage you and to motivate you to get listing and get yourself back on track with your reselling. Because the way I see it, there's enough money to go around for everybody to make. You just got to put the work in. Once you put the work in, the money comes in. You do what you got to do. You recycle that money. You have reinvest in your reselling and we do it all over again so always keep that in mind guys always keep it in mind like i said i'm not no guru i am no none of this um, i'm just a regular reseller just like you you might be a reseller that's just uh starting reselling and you're watching my video right now use this has motivation to get you going to get you motivated and get your foot in the door to reselling anybody can do this i learned this as an eight-year-old kid People say, wow, eight years old. Yeah, I've, I've told this story millions of times. My dad used to take me to the flea markets when I was a kid. And that's where I got the reselling niche from because of my father. If it wasn't for that, I would never have gotten at such a young age. But, you know, thankful that I did get to experience that with him because now I'm 45 years old. You know, now it's like, how many years have I been doing this? And I'm still doing it. So definitely do not be, you know, get motivated. And like I said, if it's your first time here, thank you for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up for me. And uh, like I said, I hope you guys like watching these kind of videos. Just wanted to share a little bit uh, on, you know, on the topic because I've been getting a lot of messages uh, daily about Macari sales and what are my thoughts? What should I do? You have any, you know, suggestions or anything like that? I always tell people, you have any anything you want to ask me, feel free to message me on Instagram, CaliLuis909. And like I said, I respond to all messages. Doesn't matter what it is. Don't ever be afraid to reach out to me. I'm always here to help and share my knowledge with anybody that you know has a question about anything. And I'll steer you in the right direction. So thank you guys for watching this. I hope I didn't bore you guys because I know I just did a lot of blah, 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 blah.
<laughs> some people think, damn, Luis, you just got into the topic and you just kept going and going. And yeah, just got into it. But definitely, guys, let's keep listing, stay posted, you know, do what you do. And let's keep get those sales. Let's keep pushing through this uh through this month of August. Let's keep it going. And uh, let's keep let's get it, let's get it going, guys. Let's uh get our, our stores going, going, going. So by the time fourth quarter comes, we could go full steam ahead to finish the year strong. So all right, guys. Uh this has been myself, Callie Luis. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you guys uh showing all the love and support. And if you guys like these kind of videos, hit the thumbs up for me. Uh, show me some love in the comments down below. Let me know if uh, what if I just shared was uh, you guys enjoy these kind of videos, or if you guys want to want me to do other kind of videos. Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, hit me up. Like I said, I always like to share uh, any experiences that I've getting been through with reselling, and I will continue to do so. So anyhow, have a good night, guys. Have a good day wherever you guys are at, whatever time you're watching this. Thank you guys so much. Remember. Get the listings going. List. Keep that in mind. Keep that. Engrave that in your mind. Let's do some listings, even if it's one listing a day, just to start off. And you'll get into the habit of doing it, and then you'll start rock and rolling. All right, guys. Peace. And chicken. Grease.